Okay, now that we've read a text, watched a video, and browsed the web with Readlang, let's review some of the vocabulary we've encountered in the flashcard section. We'll just choose to review eight words for now. If we had more time, we could review more. It will present us the sentence that we originally encountered the word familia in, and we should try to guess what familia means in English. Now, this is quite an easy one. It's family, but let me just check if that's correct. Yes, family. This is fairly easy, and I'm very confident that this is correct, so I could just press yes and move on. But if you have any doubt at all, it's always good to verify and correct this translation by clicking the little pencil button here. So let's just do that now. The first time you encounter any word in the flashcards, this is highly recommended. You can just check that the definition makes sense, both in word reference and given the context sentence. In this case, I'm very confident that this is correct. So I'll just leave it as it is, family, and say yes. Now, this word, ¿Cuál es el costo para Europa si Grecia se va de la Eurozona? Now, it translates C as yes, and I've got strong doubts as to whether yes is correct. So let me click this again and hop down to word reference, and we see yes, C can actually mean if, which makes much more sense in this sentence. So I'm going to change that to if and save. I did remember that word, so I'll press yes. Pequeño. I do know what it means, but let's pretend that I don't. Let's pretend I think pequeño means pink. So does pequeño mean pink? No, it means small. Given the sentence, that actually makes sense. So I won't go in and verify it right now. I'm pretty confident that's true. So I'll just say that I didn't remember that. I thought it was pink. I'll press not at all. Ella vive en un apartamento en Caspa. I guess that means live. Yeah, she lives. Yep. Hay una chica. There's a girl. Yep. País is... ¿Cómo hace un país? Country. Yep. Se llama, hay una chica que se llama Alma, is called Alma, called, I'm just going to correct it from called to is called, okay, it's called, yep, hay una a chica, a chica is a girl, yep. These words are all a bit easy for me, which is why I'm very confident they're correct. But like I mentioned, it's always worth, if you have any doubt, just popping in here, checking that chica does indeed mean girl. It does indeed make sense given the sentence. So I'll accept it and I'll say, yes, I remember. And now that I've gone through all the words, guessing the correct English, the next time I encounter the word, it will get me to do the more difficult job of figuring out what it is in Spanish. Family is con su familia, so I'll click it, familia, that's correct, I'll press yes. Para Euro Europa, si Grecia se va de la Eurozona, si, yep. I didn't get this right the first time, I thought it was pink, so it's still asking me to guess the English. This time, I think it's small, and I got it right that time, so I'll press yes. Ella vive... Now, if I want to make this a little bit more challenging, or if I like the practice of typing the words out, I can switch typing mode on. And now I can see if I can get the spelling correct. Viva. Ella, or was it vive or viva? Ella, vi vive. I don't know. <laughs> vive. See. Si. Next card, I can click here, or I can press enter on the keyboard to go forward. There's a chica. Hay una, una chica, yep, enter, un país, Pai. now, I could write país like that, but that's not correct, because the I has an accent on it, so I can click the I here, país, or of course, I can go to my keyboard settings for OS X and switch from a British to a Spanish keyboard, which is actually my preferred way of typing in Spanish because it's much faster than having to click on these buttons. So, país, yep, country, 
is called is se llama. Yep. Hay una chica. I think it's pequeña, but again, the N is actually an Enya. It's not an N. Pequeña. Ah, oh, pequeño. Uh, I always have trouble remembering the gender of words in Spanish. It's actually very easy because it normally follows the letter at the end of a word. Pueblo ends with an O, so it's probably masculine. If it ended with an A, it would be probably feminine. But I'm just not used to genders in English, so I often still get it wrong anyway. Because I don't think about it. Let me try that again. Again, yeah, check answer. Oh no, I did it. I did the same again. <laughs> okay, L last time I get it right this time. Pequeño, because it's a pueblo pequeño. Check answer. There we go. Next card, and that's it. And this little graph shows me how many words I've practiced every day. It's very satisfying to see this fill up if you've practiced for a whole week. To encourage you to keep practicing a little bit every day, I highly recommend that you tick this box, which will cause you to get an email every day that you don't practice. The email will contain one little flash card, so you can, just while you're checking your email on your phone, practice your Spanish a little bit by wondering what the word is that's missing in the sentence and follow the link to the flashcard page to see the answer. And there we go, that's Reed Lang's flashcards, a very effective way for you to review your vocabulary.